On May 1st, Powhatan students and guests gathered on the Crocker Conservancy to celebrate Earth Day and honor our friend and past board president, J.T. Anderson. With the help of community partners, students from pre-kindergarten through eighth grade joined forces to beautify and restore the Conservancy while enjoying the day of service surrounded by friends and living the part of our mission to foster the understanding that service to others creates a better world for all. Many of the day's projects were designed to restore native plant life and encourage the growth of native animal populations. Fifth graders built and placed bluebird houses, and fourth graders removed invasive garlic mustard and planted bluebells, while third and eighth graders worked as teams to do a lot of heavy lifting, digging and planting native shrubs in the wetland. The shrubs offer shade, help with retaining moisture and filtering water, and introduce more natives into the wetland habitat. First graders built bamboo trellises for their gardens and carefully placed terracotta toad houses around the wetlands to encourage amphibian visitors. Other projects improved the space as an outdoor classroom. Students spread mulch on trails, added measurement markers around the path, and strategically placed beautifully painted nature quotes within view of walkways. On a more whimsical note, kindergartners painted stones and placed them in our fairyland area, while younger students made plaster casts of animal tracks. Seventh graders provided a great service on our main campus. Having studied erosion in the fall, students created plans for problem areas on campus. They used the service day to carry through on their plans, installing pavers and planting bushes to reduce erosion. After a busy morning of service and fun, students and visitors gathered at the Anderson Pavilion. Students joined their buddies to relax and enjoy a well-deserved lunch. Mrs. Scarborough shared reflections about J.T. Anderson and his love for the school. She encouraged students to continue to look for ways to serve as stewards of the environment, but also to serve as generous and giving friends to each other, as JT so naturally did within our community. The day was a wonderful mix of service, celebration, and teamwork.